Hello. Hi and welcome. So today's video is going to be really really fun and different and energetic. I see these makeup challenge videos all over YouTube and I decided it is time for me to get on that bad wagon. So today I'm starting a new series called Makeup Games. <laughs> And before that, if you haven't seen this beautiful face before, hi, my name is Shraddha and this is my channel Shraddhi Style. Um, I would really appreciate if you hit that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Now that we have that out of the way, let's start with our first ever makeup game. So today what we're gonna do is here I have a bowl full of chits and each chit has the name of a step that I usually do um, in my makeup routine. So like foundation and concealer, uh, upper eyelids, lower lashes, mascara, blah 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 blah. So I have tons of chits inside and I'm gonna pick one chit at a time and whatever step that chit says I have to do that. Now I know this is a very very dangerous game to play because imagine the first step I get is doing a blush or a highlighter and then after like five or six steps I get foundation or even moisturizer. I mean like what a recipe for disaster. So without further ado, let's get into makeup game number one. Let's do this. Okay, God, please help me. I hope I have all of your good wishes and good vibes. And come on, I either need a, um, a moisturizer or a primer or something that helps me first with the base on my face. Ah! I don't even know what this is, so I'm gonna show it to you first. Okay, it's upside down, I guess. Okay. Oh, it was upside down. Now, can you see this? Okay. Setting spray. Okay. I'm gonna just throw these shits on the side. We don't need it. Let me find a setting spray. Uh, no, that's not a setting spray. <laughs> Where the hell are all my setting sprays? It was sitting right in front of me. Okay, so looks like I'm gonna set my makeup before I even start. For some reason, I'm like shaky. Because that did not start on a good note. Okay, next one. Please, I need a good one. A good one, what is it? What is it, can you see? Is it upside down? It is upside down. What is it? <gasps> Or try it. So what I'm gonna do is take my Tarte Shape Tape, which I use as an eye primer many times. Eye primer is basically eyeshadow primer. So I'm just gonna take some of my Tarte Shape Tape without even applying moisturizer or anything. Just blend this out with my beauty blender. Okay, let's see what the next step is. Can you see what this is? <laughs> I think I'm gonna do a very simple eye look today. So I'm gonna use my favorite Huda Beauty eyeshadow Huda Beauty eyeshadow palette. So I'm gonna go very quickly through this step because the point of this video is not how well I do my makeup or how well I do a certain eyeshadow look. The point of this makeup is if I can slow down <laughs> uh, is how my look turns out after I you know just screwed the make makeup steps so first I'm going to take the shade bay and just set uh, my eyelid then I'm taking the shade bossy then I'm going to take this shade called man eater Then I'm taking this shade called Rose Gold on my finger and I'm just going to pop this on the center of my eye. I'm going to take the shade called Bay which I used to set my um, brow, no what was that? I'm so lost today. <laughs> so I used to set my eyelid primer, my eyeshadow primer, eyelid primer. <laughs> okay, next step. 
It's going to be eyeliner. Mm. Okay, I don't know what this is. Okay, I hope it's right that you could read it. <sighs> it is eyeliner. <laughs> okay. Eyeliner, where are you? What do I want to be the next step? Maybe eyebrows, but we'll see. Next is, so I'm doing contour before foundation. So because I'm gonna do um, my contour before my foundation, my base, I think I'm gonna go for a cream Contour. This is Fenty Beauty Matte Stick in the shade Shuffle. And I think I'm gonna go as dark as I can. So in that way, when I apply foundation before um, over my bronzer or contour, it'll actually like show up. And I'm gonna use my Dampen Beauty Blender to blend this in, which is. A big mistake I realized because I can't use this to blend my foundation and concealer now. Great. Let's move on. What worse can we do after this? What's that? I, I don't even... Okay, this is fine, I think. For concealer, I think we need something heavy duty. Hmm? So I'm going to use my Tarte Shape Tip in the shade Medium. So this is a little better because now I know that we'll do foundation after concealer, which is okay. But you know what I realized? I put color correcting in there just for the fun of it. And now I'll be color correcting after concealer. Genius. And I don't generally color correct. So, I don't know what I was thinking today. I can use this end because this end doesn't have the contour. Next step. Next step is... I wish I had a cream blush, but I don't. So you know what the next best thing is? To overdo my blush so that when I apply my foundation, I can still see the blush. My logic is if I still apply foundation above it, which now I'm thinking I'm going to go up for a very sheer cover foundation, um, I can still probably see the blush and the contour and all that. So I'm going to use my Wet n Wild uh, blush in the shade Purse and Pink. I'm going to like really overdo it, like think clowns. going for a second coat. Ever heard that? Second coat of blush? First time. Hmm? Next. What is it? Brow. I see brow. Yeah. Okay, quickly gonna go in with my Anastasia brows and do my brows. Next step. I thought I thought foundation was gonna be bad. This is this is bad. <laughs> okay, we're gonna stay strong. And do this. So I have my belief Hungarian water essence. So I'm gonna take like one pump and um, Look at the color of my face and my neck. Like, what do I stand for? What do I really stand for? Lower lash shadow. For the beauty, where are you? I'm gonna take my meter and just line my lower lashes. <sighs> What's this? Setting powder. Okay. So for setting powder today, I'm gonna use my Wet n Wild yellow powder. Um, in Wow, I'm using setting powder 
before foundation. It's like crazy. I mean, this look is good without foundation, isn't it? Do we have to? Do we have to? Well, you signed up for it when you thought this was a good idea. So, yes, we're gonna do it. Our next step is mascara. So, today for mascara, I'm going to take my L'Oreal Lash Paradise. You know, the good thing is, I actually put lashes in there as an extra step just for the fun of it, and I'm so glad that that step is gonna be after my mascara. Like, eye wise, things are going really, really well. Color correcting. Let's do this. So, I have my green, and I have my red. Now, you know, it's so difficult to see where my red spots are because of the blush. I don't know, I see something red here, but that could be from my blush, I think. Oh my god, this is gonna be such a big disaster. So, the next thing is primer. <laughs> so, for primer, I'm gonna use my Cover FX Mattifying Primer. What's next? Crease. Um, so I already did crease. I forgot that I had a different step for it, so I'm gonna skip that. Um, so we have lipstick. Okay, so for lipstick, I'm gonna use this shade by Milani. It's called Rose Femme. Next is lashes. Job. So today I'm applying some uh, Demi Wispies. Okay, so lashes are on and usually after I apply my lashes, I do apply um, eyeliner and a coat of mascara to blend um, my fake and real lashes together. And I don't have a separate step for that, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. So we have three more shades left. Next one is foundation. Okay, so because I'm applying foundation after hundreds of other steps, I'm going to use my Laura Mercier's Flawless Fusion Foundation, which is kind of sheer. Now, last two chips. We have Inner Corner. Okay. I actually did forget inner corner. I'm gonna take like the smallest brush that I have. And then we'll take the shade called Moon Dust. And the last and final step, I think. What did I not do yet? Lower lash liner. Oh, highlight. For highlight, I'm gonna use my new Milani palette. And this is in the shade Treller no, Stellar Lights. I'm going crazy. So I'm going to take this like really golden -y kind of highlight of the excess and hopefully this highlight can pull this look together which I won't put too much pressure on you, okay? I want to draw all the attention to my eyes and my cheeks so no one sees the blunders that I did today. Like you, you can barely see my contour, like it's not there. Don't even try it, okay? So you can barely see that. Um, my foundation is on top of everything else. My setting powder, my setting spray. My setting spray was the first step. Like, oh my god. That's all my friends. So this is the final look. If you see it now, it doesn't look that bad. And even up close, it doesn't look bad. Like I know what we did to get here and I know you can't really see like the blush or the bronzer but you know what I try to play around with the look and it doesn't really matter um, the lip goes really well with our look I think our highlight stole the show like I wanted it to um, yeah I'm, I'm I think we got super lucky with the eyes 
I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and I hope you guys give this a try too. I know we all have our own routines and things we like to do in a certain order but this was definitely fun. If you have any ideas or suggestions for future makeup challenges that you want me to do, I have a few planned in my mind and I have a few notes but if there are any specific um, challenges that you want me to do, leave them down in the comments below. Yeah guys, thank you so much for spending your valuable valuable time with me if you like spending time with me don't forget to give this video a nice big thumbs up subscribe to my channel for more fun videos like this one also hit that notification bell to get notified whenever i post a new video and on that note take good care of yourselves and i shall see you in my next one bye